here's something that might be helpful. If, like me, you have accidentally closed all your Safari tabs on an iPad. Um, so again, I'm, I'm dealing with iOS 14 here. So if we look at the various apps that I've run in, I have to just kill that YouTube. I have two um, instances of Safari windows with multiple tabs running on them. And the first one I had, as you can see, that just in the way that I use it, I have endless tabs running across there. Surely should be tidier and all the rest. And I lost these earlier on because I inadvertently had closed one of the windows. Now, if I swipe across, this is the other more recently opened one that I have. There's four tabs there. So just I'll show you what I've done. So if I just go into, for example, just uh, squeeze them in there to get the, there's the two applications of Safari. So if I take the, the one which is, I'm not con overly concerned about, I just close that. I've now lost that Safari app. And uh, if I close the second one, I go back to my home page and start Safari again. It'll start only with one of the instances of Safari. And as I can see when I zoom out again, I've only one instance of that Safari. So where is the other one gone? How can I get it back? Bit of a panic when you've got many, many tabs open. So I've discovered the solution for this. I'll uh, show the link at the end because that's the page I want to bring back. So essentially what I do is I just bring up the uh, dock at the bottom with all the apps on it. And in the bottom left hand side, close to the bottom, I just hold on to the Safari uh, icon. Again, just sorry, hold it down and then release it. And it says show all windows. And it shows as there's only one uh, activation of the Safari window at the moment. But as you see up in the top right hand of that screen, there's a, an icon there called Reopen Closed Windows. I'm going to press that. And suddenly it has opened up two other previous activations or instances of Safari. Um, so if I go to this one, the one at the bottom right uh, there. This is where the uh, I found the information. Um, at least if you just look at the uh, information that you, I'll see if I can retitle this video with just that data there. So anyway, that's how you um, recover your Safari tabs if you've inadvertently closed the window. And this happens quite easily if I try, and I'll just show you why it would have happened. Now you see if I have that page there and I try to drag it, you see the problem is it's now started another side-by-side -side instance of Safari. And if I inadvertently get rid of one of these, it's gonna be hard to find it again. So that's how the problem happened. Hope this is of some assistance to somebody.